how does a pure FPGA DAC work? I think this is a really good question. It comes to us from Jimmy in Taiwan, a great place. I love Taiwan. Um, Paul, I've been reading some materials about FPGA digital audio processing and found that FPGAs are purely digital. In order to convert all that magic of digital signal processing inside that FPGA chip, you still need a DAC, right? Or some kind of circuit to push the analog voltage forward. Can you briefly tell us how you resolve the analog stage? By the way, I really enjoy direct stream DSD DAC. I love it. Well, thank you, Jimmy. And of course, the DSD direct stream DAC is, as I'm sure you know, an FPGA DAC. All right, let's see if I can make this uh, clean and simple in five minutes. <laughs> it's complicated, but it's, it, it, we, we, can, we, can, we can get you there. We can tell you in very simple terms what's happening. So a digital to analog converter, okay? We take digital audio in, whether it be PCM or DSD, and we convert it to analog. Now in a chip, DAC, which is what most people have, where we're not using an FPGA, the whole front end is digital. Everything's digital right up to the very output stage. And that's where we convert it to analog. The same is true in an FPGA. So I'll, I'll explain it. FPGAs, oh, it stands for Field Programmable Gate Array. And all it really means is it's like a microprocessor, but unlike a microprocessor, this many million gate device is not pre-programmed to do specific tasks. So in a microprocessor, you might have the same number of transistors and resistors and stuff inside of the chip, uh, say an Intel 8080 or something. You might have the same number, but on a microprocessor, this section of components are dedicated towards the brains of the thing, and this is dedicated to the memory, and on and on. In a field programmable gate array, an FPGA, all of them are just sitting there like stem cells. You can do whatever you want with it, and we program them. So you could actually make an Intel 8080 on an FPGA. You just program it. Done. The next day, click it, change it, program it to be a DAC. Program it to be a math machine, you know, you can program it to do anything you want. It's a pretty cool device. So how then do you take an FPGA, which is 100% digital, and make analog out of it? Well, without ancillary equipment, in addition, stuff, chips and things, in addition to the FPGA, it would be very difficult to make a PCM DAC because in PCM, we want to be able to turn on various current sources that we make this ladder network of current sources, which are not inherent inside of an FPGA. Yes, it could be done, but it's not something as easy as what we do with DSD. So one of the reasons that we convert everything to DSD is because DSD is a one-bit system. It's based on technology called pulse density modulation, PDM, as opposed to PCM, pulse code modulation. That's in the form of a code. Pulse density modulation is in the form of just one bit, turning on and off and more or less of them. They're not in a code. And what's gorgeous about this is that the output of the FPGA or any one bit processor is actually about as close to analog as you're likely to ever get. In fact, we can take the output of the FPGA, 100% digital, run it directly into your power amp and you'll hear music. Why? Because pulse density modulation is such that we have all these bits coming out at this very high rate, 11, uh, 5 megahertz, 5 million times a second, you have these bits coming out. But if there's no sound, then we don't really have a bit. Let's just, I know the nerds are going to go, ah, but 
don't worry about it. Let's just say that if, if we don't have sound, we get no bits. When we do have sound, if it's very low, we get a couple of bits. And if it's loud, we get a whole bunch of bits, so a higher density of digital bits. Now, bits are just energy turning on and off. And if we just use a capacitor, just a low-pass filter at the output, we can kind of roll off those transitions. And what comes out is analog. That's why DSD is so perfect for an FPGA. And that's how we do it. So I hope that gave you a little bit of a clue. So the output of DirectStream DAC is basically a low-pass filter. Now it's got some fancy stuff, some external parts that, that beef up the current, jack up the voltage a little bit higher, clean it up a little bit, but it's actually just cleaning up and presenting in proper form the actual output, digital output, of the FPGA. And that is how it works. All right. Thanks for the question. Talk to you tomorrow.